If you're new to this network, what I try to do here is provide an outlet for concise information pertaining to an array of topics that ultimately ties into scripture and the prophetic. I'm not religious and don't subscribe to a denomination, I'm simply a Holy Spirit-led independent investigator. In this episode, I decided I want to go easy on the usual breakdown of current events and take the subject matter elsewhere. I don't know about you, but from time to time I struggle to reconcile the magnitude of deception that assaults the people. It's hard enough for some to even make a living, let alone attempt to discern fact from fiction whenever a politician, minister, or news anchor speaking. The carrot on a stick economics makes it difficult to get ahead. Our incentives become smaller, yet the burden grows. What's worse, there's very little protection for those who fall between the cracks if that stick becomes too heavy to carry. Economically, politically, spiritually, today's world draws huge parallels from what scripture says it's going to look like in the later days. So much is going on. So much is being exposed. I think it's quite obvious to anyone paying attention that something is taking place. Go back a hundred years, technology, population, education, historically speaking, things are radically different. Fair enough, it's safe to say the pace of change is growing exponentially. I mean, where's the time for intellectual or spiritual growth, right? Well, what better time than now? No matter what shame, burdens, or sins we carry, why not give them over to the only one who can truly do anything about them? Yeshua is much bigger than your transgressions. Mark 3.28 boldly states, Verily I say unto you, all sins shall be forgiven unto the sons of men, and blasphemies wherewithsoever they shall blaspheme. Sin, put simply, is transgression of the law. We find this in 1 John 3, 4. Whosoever committeth sin transgresses also the law, for sin is the transgression of the law. The law, or Torah, are the instructions and commands given to Moses as a sort of guidebook to set apart those who call Yahuwah their God. However, all have sinned and fall short of his glory. See, the spirit indeed is willing, but the flesh is weak, and since almost all things are by the law purged with blood, Yeshua was delivered over to death for our sins and was raised to life for our justification. The law was our schoolmaster to bring us unto Christ that we might be justified by faith. For by grace we are saved through faith, and not of ourselves is a gift of God, not of works, lest anyone should boast. It's of his fullness we have all received this grace. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. For God sent not his Son into the world to condemn the world, but that the world through him might be saved. He that believeth on him is not condemned, but he that believeth not is condemned already, because he hath not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. Scripture goes on to say that this is the condemnation. That light is come into the world, and men love darkness rather than light, because their deeds were evil. For everyone that doeth evil hateth the light, neither cometh to the light, lest his deeds should be reproved. For those of you who are ready to receive this free gift of salvation, the word is near you, in your mouth and in your heart. That is the word of faith. If you confess with your mouth Yeshua is Lord and believe in your heart God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For with your heart you believe and are justified, and with your mouth you confess and are saved. Unfortunately, we were born in the middle of a spiritual war, meaning we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. However, we've been given a defense, the full armor of God. Stand, therefore, having your loins girt about with truth, and having on the breastplate of righteousness, and your feet sawed with the preparation of the gospel of peace. Above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked, and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God, praying always with all prayer and supplication in the Spirit, and watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplication for all saints. Finally, I want to close with this. Yeshua said, In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. Behold, I give unto you the power to tread on serpents and scorpions, and over all the power of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Look, I am coming quickly. Thanks for checking me out.